if people say this to you on YouTube, well, you know, I'm supposed to marathon train today. Like today's supposed to be a 19 mile long run, but considering the, uh, the resort's only like point seven, like less than a mile wide, um, I'm having to get creative. I'm currently three resorts, three resorts over. And I, I think I think I'm gonna pause the marathon training for this week and just get as many miles in as I as I can. It's hot here too, if you if you couldn't tell. was good uh i did this i'm not sure what the day has planned uh i wanted to sit down and have a kind of a heart to heart with you about well i'm going through my comments on on youtube and there was this one individual who remained nameless and basically their comments started going through like specific analytics or specific numbers on what makes a youtuber and what makes doesn't make doesn't make a youtuber i could not disagree more see the beauty of social media and the beauty of of youtube is pretty much anybody can share and to me and in my opinion if you regularly upload whatever platform you use to distribute your content whether that be instagram TikTok, youtube whatever that automatically makes you a youtuber if you do it on youtube or instagram or if you do it or tiktoker numbers don't matter if numbers matter to you that much well then maybe you shouldn't do do social media the crazy thing about the internet and the crazy thing about social media is some stuff Stuff will do really well and some stuff will just completely flatline and it's virtually impossible to to predict now you can make videos that will best leverage specific trends within within a social media platform that, that will help it do well but at the end of the day nobody knows if something's going to do well or or not there are so many times where I have a video that I'm just like meh about that just randomly it just does super super well and the the videos that I put a ton of time in and I'm super super stoked on uh, completely flatline. All that to be said, if anybody ever says anything mean to you on social, just ignore it. Like honestly, at the end of the day, if you're happy with what you're creating, that's all that matters. I to start the vlog off on a, such a serious note, just, just uh, that kind of stuff, just hmm. Savannah is at some, some kind of meeting for uh, the business stuff that we have tomorrow. I, I didn't have to go, so I didn't go. She said she was gonna be gone for 30 minutes, but it's been close to an hour and a half. Maybe I should go check on her. Founder. Check out this, this bathroom situation. You got one urinal, two. So you're just gonna be, uh, <laughs> you're gonna be, gonna be back to back. Savannah and I just had uh, had lunch, and uh, now I don't know what we're doing. We ended up just coming back to the room. Uh, we're kind of taking it easy right now, so I figured I would answer some questions uh, right now. How long did it take you to hit? It's a little complicated. When I started uploading regularly, it took me less than less than a year to hit a thousand subscribers. But I had had my YouTube channel four years prior to that, and I think I had like 200 subscribers. So from the point that I started uploading regularly, it took me like I don't know, like nine months to hit a thousand, but I also had 200 before that from like just, yeah. The drone shots, cuts. Thank you so much, man. That honestly, that's the, those are the kind of comments that I, I live for. Being able to pull things from different YouTube, that's one of my favorite things about this platform. And uh, thank you for watching. I honestly feel that. I, there was a time where I tried doing once a week, uh, but it just, it was too, there was too many days in between. And uh, for me, I struggled with continuity and consistency with like themes within videos. Uh, if I did it like once a week and that's why I started doing daily stuff again because there's a consistency and there's a overall theme That's kind of strung along when you do it every single day. That would be amazing uh, 64 ounces of coffee is is a lot <laughs> Yeah, we're uh, we're in Nashville and I love that I love I love knowing that like there's other other creators in my in my local area I feel like that's a rarity or it's just not as well known when you're outside of cities like New York or, or LA where there's just everybody's a, everybody's a creator. You did the coffee thinking in. <laughs> First, thank you. Uh, and yeah, I just, coffee man. <sighs> okay, uh, that's that's all of them. Uh, like like always, thank you for the comments. Uh, this video is pretty much all reacting to, to comments. Even from the very beginning.
Savannah is. Savannah's Savannah's gone right now. So I figured I would, uh, I would take the opportunity right now to do a really relaxed, chill hotel room tour of of both stories. This is two stories. Okay. As you probably put together, this is the second floor. On the second floor, we have a pool back there with the shower, a little bed thing, and uh, and my personal favorite, the little hangout area with uh, running stuff currently drying. This would be considered outside area number number one. And then if you go down here, if you come down here, you're going to immediately see a uh, indoor little spa, spa area with glass enclosing, enclosing everything. You go through this little sliding glass door into outside area number two. Immediately outside of this little like outside area, you're going to be in the living room. Room service. This is this massive, massive bed. You're right from the bedroom slash living room, then you're going to be greeted in this massive uh, bathroom. And the last part of this hotel, the last part and probably my favorite part is going to be this closet with this full length mirror and uh, well, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So Van and I are just exploring a couple of the other resorts uh, next to next to ours. They're all connected by the same beach. You just have to sneak around, sneak around the um, sneak around the staff, right? Look at these palm trees. They're all all bendy. Kind of like the ones at In-N-Out, but not really, because they, uh... Oh. And there's coconuts on them. Coconuts. I actually ran over here today, and uh, I made the mistake of going up one of these garden paths to those, those residents, uh, and I was greeted by this guy giving me a really, really weird look. Without saying it, basically is telling me to, to get to get away without a... And just like this vlog began, it's going to end in this closet.